Welcome to the lesson on chemical reactions and equations. At the end of this lesson, we will be able to define a chemical reaction, explain the symbolic representation of a chemical reaction, explain how to write a chemical reaction, define a chemical equation, and balance a chemical reaction. What do you observe? when an iron nail is exposed to humid atmosphere. Rust forms on the nail and brownish scale is visible. This is a permanent change and can be expressed in the form of a reaction which cannot be reversed. Similarly, what happens when magnesium ribbon is burnt in the presence of oxygen? A dazzling white flame occurs. Magnesium ribbon burns with a white flame and it changes into a white powder. This is magnesium oxide. It is formed due to the reaction between magnesium and oxygen present in the air. A chemical reaction occurs when a chemical change occurs with respect to change in state, change in color and change in temperature or evolution of a gas. Examples of a chemical reaction is the reaction of magnesium with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. A chemical equation is a symbolic representation of the reactants and the products using their chemical formulae. A chemical reaction is expressed in the form of a chemical equation. On the left hand side are the reactants. And on the right hand side are the products. The arrowhead points towards the products and shows the direction of the reaction. For example, when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to zinc granules, it forms zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas. In this chemical equation, zinc and dilute sulfuric acid are the reactants and zinc sulfate and hydrogen gases are the products. In a chemical equation, any solid like zinc granules is denoted by small letter S. Any liquid like sulfuric acid is denoted by small letter L. Any gas like hydrogen gas is denoted by small letter G. Any aqueous solution like zinc sulfate is denoted by small letters AQ. A gas produced is denoted by an arrow pointing upward. A precipitate formed is denoted by an arrow pointing downward. Reactants and products are separated by an arrow which points in the direction of the reactions. Law of conservation of mass states that the mass can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction. That is, the total mass of the elements present in the products of a chemical reaction has to be equal to the total mass of the elements present in the reactants. In a chemical reaction, the total mass of the reactants and the products should be equal. The number of atoms of each element remains the same before and after a chemical reaction. Before balancing a chemical equation, Correct symbolic representation of the chemical equation shall be done. Let us try to balance this chemical equation. First, draw boxes around each formula. Count the number of atoms of different elements present in unbalanced equation. We can note down the number of atoms of iron, hydrogen and oxygen as reactants and products. We start balancing with the compound having maximum number of atoms either as reactant or product. We select Fe3O4 and element oxygen in it. The number of atoms of oxygen are 4 on right hand side and 1 on left hand side. To equalize the number of atoms it must be remembered that we can alter the formulae of the compounds or elements involved in the reactions. To balance oxygen atoms, we can put coefficient 4 as 4H2O and not as H2O4 or any other thing. 
iron and hydrogen atoms are still not balanced multiply the hydrogen atoms by 4 on right hand side so that number of molecules of hydrogen becomes balanced in both sides now pick up the third element which is not balanced multiply the iron atoms by 3 in left hand side so that it balances with right hand side finally count the atoms of each element on both sides of the equation to check correctness of balanced equation at the end of the lesson we are able to define a chemical reaction explain the symbolic representation of a chemical reaction explain how to write a chemical reaction define a chemical equation and balance a chemical reaction visit ATEC Academy on www.atecedu.com or contact on 904